Hello again. We are continuing our tutorials on Unreal Media Server. My name is Max. I'm one of the architects of Unreal Media Server. This tutorial will cover Unreal Archival Server. So we have a software named Unreal Archival Server uh, and it is used as a DVR digital video recording system for Unreal Media Server. It provides centralized recording on your media server side. So as you can see Unreal Live server that is used to record this tutorial can serve as a recording software. So currently we are recording this tutorial. Unreal Live server can record any live source um, to MP4, MP4 and ASF files. Unreal Archival server can do the same, but the live server is installed where at, at the actual um, at the actual uh, site where your cameras are installed, where you have USB web cameras, capture cards. So if you have tens of those different sites and you record locally then you have recorded files spread over different computers so if you have a central media server that gets streams from all those remote distributed live server computers it's a good idea to install unreal archival server on a central computer that runs the media server so let's go to our website, download page, and download Unreal Archival Server. Unreal Archival Server receives streams from Unreal Media Server and records them as well to MP4 and ASF um, files. In fact, if only if it's Windows Media Video, Windows Media Audio, it will record to um, ASF format, otherwise it will always record to MP4, more popular MP4 format. Let's run Archival Server Installation Program. Okay. Okay, uh, if you want to record to your local hard drive, you want to choose the system account and your local hard drive can also be a disk array uh, drive so you can record many very many different uh, concurrent streams in the same time uh, if you want to record to other computers you want to choose the other network service account let's do the system account because Unreal uh, Archival Server, just like Unreal Media and Unreal Live servers, uh, runs as a Windows service. So you need to specify what account it runs under. Normally, all our services run under local system account. Okay. getting installed Okay, installation complete, we have it installed. So just like Unreal Media Server and Unreal Live Server, the Archival Server have, has a configuration program. Let's open it. Unreal Streaming Archival Server Configuration Program. So again, Archival Server 
uh, that are being installed on the same computer or in the same local area network where the media server is installed. So that's the empty archival server. Let's add some live broadcasts to the archival server. So you want to right click on this add media server. Or you want to go file, add new media server or import media server configuration file. If you import media server configuration file, then all these uh, all these live broadcasts will be populated as well. So let's do that. Let's import MIDI server configuration file. And the MIDI server configuration file is config.ums. Open. And it says MIDI server configuration is missing password for archival server. OK. Here in the media server configuration we need to do file properties and set up a password for archival server because when archival server will connect to media server to get uh, live broadcasts to record it needs to authenticate itself with this password otherwise any archival server can pull streams from your media server if it knows the IP address of your media server so to prevent that, it's password protected. So let's create a password for archival server. Set password. Okay. And it says that we need to restart the media server. Let's restart the media server. Okay. Okay, let's do that again. File import media server configuration file. Config UMS. Okay. And now it asks us the following information. Media server address. This is 192.168.1.6. Uh, it needs to know the IP address of media server again because Unreal Archival Server will initiate a connection to media server to pull streams from it server description we can say local uh, that's just the description media server you can type anything media server password you need to type the same password that you've specified there okay and as you can see there is uh, different settings you can specify storage setting so storage so you can here you can if you have a disk array or any other many different drives on uh, many different um, partitions you can specify you know for this media server you can specify a specific drive or partition file duration if you have a very long uh, sessions very long files they will be split to files of that length okay let's go with all the default settings here reconnect on failure so if your live stream stops for some reason the camera gets uh, out of uh, you know out of sight internet connection breaks from the live live server then it will keep reconnecting. All right, uh, click on OK. And as you can see, it imported all those all those live broadcasts from the media server. Let's see if we can record them. Currently, I have this webcam functioning. The webcam is the live broadcast pointing to a live server. Uh, configured on a different uh, computer as I showed you in the previous tutorial that's configured on 192.168.1.5 which is this computer that's the live source 
that's the live server live server configuration program running there so that's the live source configured okay so webcam let's let's see if we can play webcam first play live broadcast this is our IP address of our media server webcam okay we can play webcam Let's see if we can record webcam using archival server configuration program. So you can record manually by selecting a webcam, right click on webcam, start archiving. And it says manual archiving <coughs> in process, in progress. So where it archives to, it archives to this folder. Let's copy that. Let's uh, stop archiving. Go to this folder. Okay, go to this folder. Unreal Streaming. We can just paste this thing here. Your archival server, and you can see that the archival server has a has a folder with the IP address of media server and then it has a subfolder with the name of the broadcast webcam okay and then it has this date time structure so you can go and this is our clip that we have recorded Right. So where it archives to? It archives to this folder. That's an MP4 file. Let's there. copy that. Let's uh, stop archiving. Okay. That's our recorded file. So on the live on on the archival server. you want you may want to create a scheduler for archiving for different uh, for different broadcasts so for webcam let's create a schedule uh, add uh, let's do 23 which is 11 p.m and start and stop it in uh, let's do it for one hour operation record okay update properties modified you need to update it okay so you've created a schedule for webcam so now it's 1047 in 1137 it's gonna start archiving automatically and you can do it for any other broadcast so that allows you seeing different media servers and all the broadcasts configured on those media servers it, it allows you central centralized uh, recording of all those broadcasts we have an SDK for archival servers so you can write your own programs and start and stop recording add media servers add broadcasts here and of course if I didn't mention it before we do have an SDK for media server so you can add live broadcasts and virtual folders uh, to media server configuration okay uh, one last thing that I wanted to show you with archival server is if you go to one of the broadcasts for example webcam 
live broadcast settings you have this setting here notify archival server to record this broadcast when it's being played so that option allows you just to record the broadcast when somebody plays it so let's do that okay but in order for this to function you need to go to properties and specify the IP address of archival server and the port of archival server because in this case media server will send a request to archival server uh, will notify it that the stream is currently being played so media server needs to know the IP address and port of archival server and I believe if we go to the root folder here archival server the um, the port is 5121 and we do need to set this accept remote commands this checkbox accept detector clips is for our own uh, UM500 and UM400 uh, uh, network cameras and encoders if you check this uh, the archival server will accept motion detection clips from our uh, our IP cameras and encoders so currently let's just check this box accept remote commands that's the command that the media server will send to archival server start archiving so port 5121 update you don't need to restart any uh, program on unless you are being you, you are told to so this doesn't tell you you need to restart this will tell you you need to restart from uh, normally from this properties uh, uh, window if you change anything on this panel you don't need to restart all right so the IP address of archival server is the same 192 168 one dot six and the port is five one two one five one two one okay and this tells you that you need to restart stop media server start media server okay so we have done that to be able to as you as I said to record a webcam when it's being streamed so currently there is no active stream so the archival server does not record webcam it is scheduled because we have created a schedule but let's let's just play a webcam through media server so somebody opens a player and starts to play webcam okay we are playing and as you can see the archival service uh, says remotely started archiving in progress so that just started because we started watching the webcam open the webcam uh, stream is now active somebody is watching it. okay let's stop this and as you can see the archiving has stopped let's go to our archival folder uh, where the archival folder is it's here and the, as you can see the new file has been created here let's watch the file and as you can see the archival server uh, says remotely started archiving in progress. So that just started because we started watching the webcam open. Okay. So that's about the archival server. Use it for centralized recording of media streams on the media server side. Thank you very much.